In today's video, we're going to be comparing the depth of field camera setting between the two of the biggest 3D softwares, Blender and Unreal Engine. We're going to start with Blender, let's head straight to it. So I'm in Blender 4.3, the latest version right now, and I set up my scene. It's a very basic scene, I imported a character from a website called Sketchfab, I'll leave the link in the description, and I got a um, HDRI. So, it took me about 20 minutes, you can do that as well if you want to, and it took me 20 minutes because this um, character, I had to assign the textures individually because they weren't set up. So if I go in Blender over here in Object, like, like the cloak has an individual texture. The chest part too, the chest, the cloak, the shoe, every single one of them have individual texture. But you're not here for that, you're here to see the difference between the depth of field. So we're going to do exactly that, I'm going to add a camera. So Shift A, add a camera if you're in Blender, and then quickly move our camera up. And I'm gonna position it somewhere over here. I'm gonna position. I'm gonna position it um similar in Unreal Engine, so we can compare it easily. So, somewhere around here. I'm gonna do the face. Now we are technically in Eevee right now. I'm gonna render this in cycles because then you see the textures pop. Right, now, I'm gonna leave an Eevee. If you look at it, cycles, converted cycles, you'll look at that. The textures are amazing. Look at that. And we're gonna see the depth of field in a minute. So I'm gonna go back to Eevee right now. And in our camera settings. Go over here into camera and we're going to look at our depth of field. We have a setting just for that. Enable that and look at that. We're going to have to change the focus distance and the aperture right now. So what I would do, you can decrease and increase, see how, how you would do it. So I would increase it. So when you have the um, face in focus or you can use the clicker. I'll use the clicker to take, so it's going to be easier. Look at that. Our face is technically in focus now. Or we can use the focus object, it's going to be the same thing. And then we can use the f-stop to see how blurred out the background is. So I'm going to do it to about that much. So 2.3 f-stop. And that is looking good. Um, that looks all right. I don't think we, can, we need to mess around with any other one, any other setting. That looks good. And then what we're going to do. You can change the focal left if you want, but you can change the focal and go so close to and change it. I'm going to leave it just like that. And then I would mess around with the um, f-stop for longer, but I think 2.5 is going to be good. We're going to go to cycles. Now in cycles, it will look so good. Cycle, we can use the path tracer for um, Unreal Engine. We're going to use that for, um, to, it, it's kind of similar to cycles and Unreal Engine. And then I'm going to render this image and I'm going to be back with you. So I'm going to render render image and i'm gonna be right back the image has finally been rendered it, it took one minute and four seconds and this is how it looks like it looks very good this is in focus and then the background is out of focus and it's blurry now we're gonna head on to unreal engine 5. i am now in unreal engine 5 with my scene set up so i have my same character in blender and then we have the same hdri I could have spent more time on the HDR adjusting it, but it's going to be out of focus anyway, so I don't really care about that. But I spent some time on the character adding the textures. So now, once we have done that, now we're going to add our camera. So we're going to go over here, and then, so the search camera, it's going to be more easier. Scene camera actor, and then just drag it in. As you can see, it will give us the preview. We can go inside the camera view. Piloting camera, you can do right click and then um, pilot camera actor, or you can do control shift P. And now we're in our camera. Now we can literally just, we're now in our camera view. Now we can just adjust our camera um, somewhere like over here. As you can see, it, our character's out of focus. So I'm just going to quickly move our character somewhere. Somewhere probably over here should be good. Let's get out of our camera view. And that's how it looks like. That looks all right. I feel like that looks okay. Maybe I'm gonna move it a bit more, a little bit more here, and then that way. Or Josh and Peter, good camera view. I feel like it should be like around here. You can spend more time adjusting the camera. I'm just gonna do it around here. Normally, I'm just going to do the face, something like that. It doesn't have to be perfect, exactly the same as the other one. Try to make it a bit similar. 
So now I'm going to go out of camera view and now you can see that's our camera preview right there. We can pin it over here if you want to, but I'm just going to leave it just like that. So now once we have done that, we are now going to adjust our focus and the depth of field. So now we're gonna, we have to select the camera, remember that. And we quickly, um, let's go over here. In our camera details panel, if we're selecting you can see in the camera actor, the details panel, remember we are going to go to our focus settings. So now in our focus settings, this is camera, current camera settings, you can search focus settings. Focus. Okay, so we have focus settings over here. So now we can, um, we're going to do the manual and then we're going to um, go over here and then we are going to over here adjust manual focus we can increase or decrease it like that you can see that that acts like the focus distance i think this is the focus distance view that's the focus distance as you can see i want to increase the plane so you can actually see the plane in, in unreal engine we can see the plane i'm actually going to go in camera view so let's quickly pilot this camera over here and I'm gonna quickly adjust our plane something like that is looking good and then we're gonna quickly you can also use the clicker I feel like the clicker it's gonna do the same thing and then we can now change our aperture I think we have the aperture settings in Unreal Engine we should have the aperture settings let's quickly search that see you can see how the aperture settings um we can change it decrease it oh that looks good Look at that, same settings, and look at that, looking good. And now we're looking to render this, and render this is in path tracing method, because that is the same as the cycles. So then, once this is rendered, I'm gonna back. I'm gonna be back with you. Our image has been rendered, and this is what it looks like. It took a lot of time for the path tracer method in Unreal Engine Five, but this is our results. So now we are now going to compare Blender and Unreal Engine. This is the result from Blender. It looks super good. The background is out of focus and the character is in focus. And then we have Unreal Engine. I feel like we could have added some lighting to make the character better, but both of them have very good depth of field. 